Hey guys, it's Teacher Raf. Welcome back to my channel. This is Twilight Zone episode 13 and I would like to expand a little bit about current events. What I want to talk about is that if the U.S. has uh, just gone from a corporation to republic recently, that would mean logically that there's a void, correct? There's a void, there's a vacuum, there's an absence of actual power, there's an absence of actual uh, order in a certain way. Like, we still have power and order, but it's more in our minds, yeah? We've been conditioned. So that's really good, that's really positive. Um, because we want a peaceful society. But the reality is that the U.S. that we all new that's that paradigm is done now so we're 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 going forward to a new paradigm i know it sounds so far fetched and uh, emotional and and scary but i think we're going to be okay because we have really good people with good intentions making sure that the void that the vacuum is not going to be uh taken over right by the wrong people you you follow and i think that's why we are given all of these breadcrumbs that hey relax calm down get your popcorn uh they're going to go out and get all these bad people um but not because we all know that they're bad but because so they don't have the potential or a chance to seize the vacancy of power and when i say vacancy of power I'm talking that the United States as a whole, there's there's a certain contract or contracts that were put together for this country. And for whatever reason, I, I'm not a historian, I'm not an expert, I'm not an economist, and I'm not an attorney. Those contracts have expired, okay? This is the information I've, I've gathered. And because those contracts have expired, people don't have the power that they think they do any longer. They don't have the command that they think that they do. And that is a strange uh, place. It's almost like a, a, a pseudonym for, a, or a pseudonym, a synonym for purgatory. Um, kind of like in the middle. Limbo, right? So the, the thing is, see, um, if, if this is the reality, and it's so far-fetched, it's like a Star Trek episode, right? Uh, then that would mean that the good people in power now, not us, the people in power, are going to ensure that the bad people don't grab the power from, from them, you see? So it, it's a power struggle right now. That's what it is. And because the U.S. has made a huge quantum leap from corporate corporation to republic it's not going to be functioning the same way okay so what are our safety nets okay here's the good news trump is able to sign a multitude of executive orders just like abraham lincoln did right after the civil war or during that time period okay he was able to use uh executive orders to ensure that the country stays on track even though uh, this internal war was going on so we do not want any war we do not want any internal war and so trump is going to move the government in a way to take over the conglomerates that control the media you know the six big corporation or conglomerates that control the world's media he's going to try i believe to get a hold of them through the government so they don't run wild and do whatever they want to do but they stay within a framework of order okay uh, i think that he is going to take over all of the corporations with executive orders in some way I don't know how this is going to be done, but 
This is to ensure that there's a smooth transition. And I know this sounds so crazy and far-fetched, and trust me, I realize this even when I'm speaking about it. And there is this lady who I uh, sort of just, I don't know, I just found her out of the blue. I mean, I wasn't even looking. I just kind of, and she uh, had access to this other lady's documents. And I'm sure there are people out there, tons of them, who have this docu these documents and this information already. But it was all new to me. And I started reading last night and I couldn't stop reading because it's just just unimaginable overwhelmingness of information coming through and changing my entire paradigm of what actually is transpiring here and filling in the gaps as to why, right? All the all the questions, all the reasons. Um, and so this lady has been, uh, she's an attorney and she's been doing this research for years. And she has over, th I think she has about 3,000 documents and a book and maybe m multiple books. So there's a lot of information. I can't go through all of it, obviously. I only went through a few uh, articles. And from what I'm gathering, uh, the United States is, is not the same United States any longer, okay? We're now... I... I know how this sounds, and I and I, I have a hard time understanding and believing it myself. But I'm just going to relay it to you guys. I I I am so hesitant. I'm even saying something so far fetched. <laughs> Maybe I'll save it for another episode. I don't know. I have to get the cur courage to say this. That what's going on? Because I basically Trump is going to ensure that the country uh, functions like a country because right now it's not functioning like a country. It's it's fra fractured. So he's going to try to use his powers to do that through the corporations and and seizing power in, in a way. But not seizing power in a scary way, seizing power in a safety net way. And I, I yeah. Uh, and in so doing... What this all means is that the District of Columbia is the last U.S. entity, okay? All of the other entities within the United States are now uh, sovereign, like, I'm not going to say sovereign states, but something along the lines of they're going to be calling their own shots, okay? The states... Thanks for listening, guys. Hit like, hit subscribe. Leave some comments with some source material. Have a good day. Be safe, okay?